Hello YouTube, Matthew Taylor here with another unboxing. Today we'll be unboxing the Vintage T9 Razor. The idea behind this, as you can see, my face is very hairy or fuzzy right now as it relates to having facial hair, beard, must, uh, beard, mustache, that sort of thing. Ended up cutting myself the other, other day, um, shaving with a blade has been a pretty embarrassing process so we've seen i've seen this particular vintage g9 razor on ebay it was cheap um a few bucks decided to throw someone in that direction so gonna go do an unboxing and show you what's inside and i guess show you how it works which a blade is a blade This is the unit, the Vintage T9, if you haven't, um, so if you didn't see the labeling on the other side of the box, Vintage T9, and just in case you didn't see it, upside down, Vintage T9, likewise on this side, the list of features are um, here, and the list of features, same list of features are on this side as well. And just in case you missed it the first time, they actually did provide an instruction um, booklet that includes the exact same list of features. I'll leave this here for you to see it. Inside the box includes an actual um, set, of co um, set of combs, which I won't be using these, so these just go straight in the trash bin. Inside the unit, he gets a charger, and then primarily the razor itself and a brush, standard brush. So this is the unit itself. Comes with a built-in battery, battery inside the unit. This is the actual blade itself. This is how quote-unquote precise it supposedly looks this says zero cut so for the battery now you access that by screwing this out this is a little larger than an 18650 that would go inside here and you plug this into any USB um, <clears throat> USB a port and during the charging process this turns red once it's fully charged it goes from red to green that is self-explanatory it does come shipped it, it does come with some amount of, char of charge in the shipping process this i mean yeah, some amount of charge so let's take a let me pause this one moment and this is what it actually sounds like when you switch it on And for the level of precision during the cutting process. And based on how well it actually does, and basically based on how well it actually does my hand, I can actually attest to the zero gap process razor pretty razor smooth I don't know if you can see the here here that I've left now let's put this in the way we would had we been a professional barber and yes and it actually does does do yeah it really does do zero um zero gap cutting without any so the definite so the first line here uh, i guess you can't see this let's see if you can see this any better here which says um type 
cut zero um, cut ahead ultra short smooth pitch does not hurt uh, does not hurt the scalp does not freeze the hair yeah. so this is the actual unit itself I mean this is the unit itself uh, once in a while you put some sort of grease um, to lubricate all right so this actually exists a finished product Sorry, I have a fire on there for running around the place, but I would say the actual images, um, not image, the actual um, hair shaving process was pretty smooth. I wouldn't use the word zero gap, um, the term zero gap, but I'd say for all fairness, um, as described, it's um, pretty good, pretty on, on point. I would say an acceptable level without um, burning up the skin so I would not be having any more of these happening due to the use of um, a good old fashioned razor blade. But I'd say all these problematic spots were um, pretty pretty well done and pretty well taken care of. And yeah, it could be used to line up the hair, which I did not um, did not do because I'm not a barber or anything like that. I leave that to my barber to deal with that. But this product, I would actually say, is a pretty um, good product. I would endorse. I would say I'd go as far as saying it's um, a product that I would advise folks to go out and buy. It's and worst case scenario, you're just throwing away twelve bucks. So until then, have a good one. Stay safe.